This is the Kerch Bridge. Located in occupied Crimea, construction started two years after the occupation. The road bridge was completed two years later, and it costed $3.7 billion. But on the 8th of October, this happened. Three people died due to the explosion. The FSB claimed that the cause was explosives planted on a truck. Eight people were arrested and accused Ukraine for the attack. The Ukrainian president, Zelensky, denied the allegations. However, the Ukraine government official Twitter account tweeted, Sick burn, and Podelyak, the advisor to the president, tweeted, Everything illegal must be destroyed. The blast disrupted Russian logistics, threatened the security of Russia, and therefore were not happy about it. In response, Russia launched a barrage of cruise missiles and unmanned flying objects. SHAED-136, also known as the Iranian Kamikaze drones. The strikes targeted civilian infrastructure and left Ukraine having water and electric problems. Between 13 to 16 October, the governor of Belgorod, Gladkov, accused Ukraine for shelling a residential building in the oblast. Immediately, Podelyek, the advisor to the president, denied the allegation, tweeted that Russia wanted to send a missile toward Kharkiv, but something went wrong and landed in Belgorod. Moscow indicated its intention to vacate Kherson in response to an appeal from the region's Russian-installed leader, Vladimir Saldo, prompting fears that the occupied city may become a new front line. Between 17 to 18 October, Ukraine announced the release of 108 women as part of the first all-female prisoner exchange with Russia. Also, on 17th and 18th of October, the residents of Kiev and Sumy were appalled by a strange rumbling sound as a barrage of the kamikaze drones flew above the cities whilst anti-air batteries and armed forces tried to neutralize them. Russians targeted civilian and key infrastructure, which left most parts of the country without adequate electricity. Ukraine accused Iran of providing the Shahid drones to Russia, which could have been a UN sanctions violation. The Iran Foreign Ministry spokesperson Kanay denied the accusations. Whilst the European Union affirmed their continuous support for Kiev and announced possible sanction on Iran for violating sanctions. On the evening of the 18th of October, this happened. <laughs> The Su-34 aircraft crashed into the residential building after the two pilots ejected the aircraft. Thirteen people died as of the cause of the crash. According to the investigators, during the training, the aircraft engine caught fire and that resulted in the crash. In phone discussions with his counterparts from the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Turkey, Russian Defense Minister Shoigu said that Ukraine planned to use a dirty bomb and blamed it on Russia. President Zelensky denied the accusations and invited the International Atomic Energy Agency for inspections, and then he suggested Russia itself was intending to deploy a radioactive device. If Russia telephones and tells us that Ukraine is doing something, this means that Russia is already prepared. On 23rd of October, this happened again. The Su-30 aircraft crushed on the residential building in Irkutsk, Siberia, killing both pilots. According to Irkutsk governor Kubzev, five individuals living in the unit were out on the time of the crash and compensation as well as alternative accommodation would be provided to them. Between 26 to 29 October, Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, claimed that Ukraine intended to employ combat mosquitoes on the Russian troops, and that an Odessa facility had collected viruses of severe infectious disease like coronaviruses and Newcastle disease that may spread through birds, bats, and mosquitoes. Ukraine and USA denied the allegations, and the United Nations outlined that United Nations was not aware of any biological weapons programs in Ukraine. On the last day of October, this happened in Crimea. Boat drone footages appeared online showing them charging towards Russian ships whilst a helicopter tried to intercept it. 
Russia claimed that it destroyed most, if not all, of the unmanned equipment and accused the UK for assisting Ukraine to conduct the attacks, in which the UK denied. However, this ship, the Admiral Makarov, was reported to be damaged by the attack. Russia suspended itself from the Grain Initiative deal, a deal signed by Russia, Turkey, plus the UN and Ukraine, claiming that it could no longer safeguard the safety of the ships. The month of November started with bombs flying all over Ukraine and Moldova, and I've started creating the next update, so if you enjoyed this video and want to see videos like these, smash the subscribe and the like button, it will help my content reach other YouTube users. My name is Tristan, and this is your Ukraine-Russian War Update.